Hello and welcome to English 121 Spring Semester of 2014 Section 506. My name is Amy Holly and I'm going to be your professor this semester. If you are watching this video right now it's because you were able to log into D2L and click on our classes page on your main home screen. What you're looking at right now is our class's primary D2L shell. This is what you'll see when you click on the link from our course from your main home D2L screen. You will always see this news section highlighted in the middle. If you're watching this video, it's because you were able to follow the link in the first news item. Good job, you've already completed the first step to being successful in this course. This is where I'll post weekly directives for what you need to do for homework and major writing assignments throughout the semester. From here, you'll want to go to the content link first. This is where you will find all of the relevant and important materials for our course. You'll want to start by clicking on the course overview module. It says start here, so it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. Here, you can watch a video that introduces you to me, your professor. You can access the syllabus and course schedule, which you should download, print out, and keep for your records, and some other important materials that I'll go over in just a minute. Let's take a look at the syllabus first. Open it up and the file should automatically download. You'll see a lot of important information about myself and the course at the top, as well as uh, college-wide requirements for the course and some online learning faculty uh, at our college. You'll also see the course descriptions which outlines everything uh, that we will cover in the course as well as the main objectives for your learning this semester. This is a guaranteed transfer course which means that the English 121 course that you will be taking this semester at FRCC is exactly the same as a English 121 level course that you would take at any other college in the state of Colorado. You can also see here the required materials, the name of our textbook, the D2L requirement, and then also a requirement that we will be using Microsoft Office files to upload and download over the course of the semester. So I need you to be able to save things in Doc or DocX, DocX form so that I can access them. This just goes over a little bit more information about D2L, how to submit your assignments, and my late policy, which is that I do not accept late work. There are drop box close deadlines um, for everything on D2L so if you are late you will not be able to uh, upload your materials to the Dropbox or the discussion forum. Here you can see what your grade will consist of this semester. We have 65 percent of the course um, comprising major writing that you'll do and then we have some weekly homework assignments and then some other homework, homework assignments that are intermittent throughout the semester. Uh, I mentioned that I do not accept late work except in extreme circumstances that need to be discussed ahead of time. Grades are final. You'll need to do all of your revising before the due date. And I would welcome the opportunity to discuss those grades with any of you, but we must do so in a conference. There's some important dates here and also the college's policy on non attendance attendance. Because this is an online class, you'll need to uh, conduct and participate in one academically related activity before uh, 4 p.m. on January 23rd. For us, um, you can complete the syllabus quiz and that uh, automatically exempts you from the no-show penalty. Some other um, college and campus-wide policies and then um, two very important imp components of the course are discussed here, discussions and workshops. Every week you'll have an online discussion that you must participate in worth 20 points. Um, on weeks when you are conducting a peer review workshop of each other's draft writing, that will take the place of the discussion assignment for that week. So make sure you review the policies on workshops and discussions. There's also some other college and campus-wide policies here relating to online behavior, academic integrity and plagiarism, and grading as well as student services information. Uh, make sure that you review this syllabus in depth and as I said print and keep a copy for your records. 
The other important document that you will be accessing here from the content course overview is your course schedule. This is another very important tool for you to be successful in our course. Here you'll see each week laid out step by step with the dates covered, the material that we'll be covering that week, um, kind of themes or topics for discussions, important due dates, readings of articles you'll need to access through D2L, and readings for your uh, textbook. Make sure that you complete everything in each row by Sunday night at midnight of the given uh, week. You'll see here that you do have a discussion, as I mentioned, every single week. In cases of a rough draft workshop, that will take the place of the discussion requirement. When you complete a discussion, you'll be given an assignment and you need to upload your original work by midnight on Wednesday of that week. You'll need to read and comment on two of your peers' work by Friday of that week. And then you'll need to read the comments you received and write a final end comment or overall um, thought that comprises all of the work that was done over the course of the week. Um, and that's, again, due by midnight on Sunday. Some weeks you'll have extra assignments, such as week two, there is a quiz over the syllabus and course policies that I'm discussing right now. And then you also have weekly reading matrices, um, which are graphic organizers that you'll need to fill out as you take notes on the reading uh, from the textbook assignment that you'll be doing for that week. And I'll go over that again in just a minute. So make sure that you're keeping track of the dates here, the due dates here, and the readings on the right hand side with this schedule. Okay, also under this course overview, you'll find some materials that will give you just a few more strategies to be successful in our course. We have some policies of our online learning uh, department here at Front Range, strategies for success in online classes, a basic D2L tutorial, some background information on your textbook, tips for communicating in online classes, and then, very important, our rubrics for those weekly reading matrix and discussion assignments. As I mentioned, the reading matrix is a graphic organizer that you will take notes on as you read the Mercury text each week. They are worth five points each, and there are five sections. There are three note-taking columns in the middle of each there's an is about and so what section at the beginning and end. So it breaks down what you'll need to do for each section in order to get the various point amounts. Then for our weekly discussions, you'll take a look at the rubric and see that these are actually worth 20 points. You need to have your original post, you need to respond to two of your peers, and you need to have a final end comment in order to um, be successful on these assignments. So here again is the breakdown of when each component of the assignment is due and you'll receive specific instructions on a weekly basis as we conduct this activity. Okay, so going back to the table of contents for the course, you can see that below the course overview there are individual weekly modules throughout the semester. Each module will have the materials uh, and activities that you will need in order to complete that week's assignments. There will always be lecture materials and homework activities. In the case uh, that we are introducing a new major writing assignment, you will also have some materials there, or if the assignment is due, you'll have access to a Dropbox where you can turn the assignment in. So let's just look at week one. We have our first essay. Click on the essay itself and you'll be taken to the assignment sheet that breaks down the objectives and what you'll be doing, some strategies for success, details about what you need to write, and then the rubric itself. You can also see that with that assignment sheet, you have access to a sample of the assignment, so you can get a sense of what I'm looking for on the assignment. Okay, going back to week one, you can also see there are some lecture materials that correspond to the textbook reading. Click on these and it will take you to the YouTube video that contains the lecture. Also under week one, you'll see your homework activities, which in this case are a 
which in this case are a article by Stephen Johnson that will introduce you to one of the major themes of our course, which is online literacy, your weekly discussion, which gets at your uh, learning style and will have you reflect on some of your learning needs, and then the two chapters that you'll need to um, conduct reading matrices on for this week. If you click on each, it will take you either to a link to the discussion forum itself where you will participate by clicking on the start a new thread link or to the Dropbox that you will use to turn in the reading matrix. Once you are in the in the Dropbox you'll see the file that you'll click on fill out according to the rubric, save and then re-upload to turn it in. Okay, some weeks you'll have extra homework activities such as in week two when you have the quiz over the syllabus that you'll need to complete in order to avoid the no-show penalty. You can also access that quiz by clicking on quizzes just as you can access the Dropbox and weekly discussions by clicking on those tabs at the top of your main toolbar. But again, everything can be found under content, and that's your one-stop shop for where to go to know what you need to be doing on a weekly basis. The last thing that you will use your D2L shell for is your gradebook. You can access your grades by clicking on the gradebook tab here at the top right of your screen and scrolling down to the grades link. Here, you will see a breakdown of everything you'll receive points for in, over the course of the semester, including the four major essays that you'll write, your weekly discussions including peer review workshops and the reading matrices that you'll need to complete in order. You'll also see a few other uh, intermittent homework assignments throughout the semester as well as your score out of points and percentage. Finally, you might want to use the gradebook to contact other members of the class. You can do that by clicking on this class list link. Here you will see your peers you can view their profile and you can send them an email by clicking on the link there. Alright, so just as a quick overview, again here we have the news where you will see weekly objectives posted at the beginning of each week. You use the content tab including the course overview to become familiar with the site including relevant activities and course materials. Then on a weekly basis you'll click on each weekly module to see which major essay you're working on at the time, lecture materials which you will need to watch and use as you complete the reading matrices for that week, and homework activities including the weekly discussion, any outside readings, as well as your reading matrix drop boxes and any other homework assignments that you may be assigned. Finally, use the gradebook tab to see how well you're doing in the course. If you have any questions about this course or about online learning in general, please feel free to contact me through your D2L uh, email clicking on my name in the class list or at my front range email amy.holly at frontrange.edu. Please respect college policy and use your own student.cccs email to send emails to me about school related activities. Thank you for enrolling in English 121 Section 506. I look forward to working with all of you.